going to go ahead and replace our rear catalytic converter located on the back side of our engine. We're going to go ahead and use our 10 millimeter wrench, go ahead and loosen and disconnect our ground on our battery. Spin that off and set that aside. Using our 22 millimeter socket, we're going to go ahead and remove the lug nuts. With the lug nuts removed, go ahead and remove your wheel. Once this is done, go ahead and repeat for the other side. Using our 18 millimeter socket, we're gonna go ahead and loosen and remove the nut on the lower portion of our sway bar end link. Go ahead and remove that nut. Then we'll go ahead and separate the link from the sway bar itself. Let's repeat for the driver's side. We want to separate our rear cat from the Y pipe here. In our case here, we have some new bolts. These are 12 millimeter. You have to use whatever you have on your vehicle itself. Now, if you're working on this here and you have the original studs that are in here, what you're going to want to do is normally this will be so rusted here that you won't be able to get these nuts off. You can cut off the nuts, drop the pipe down, and then you can use a hammer and punch and punch the studs right out of the exhaust pipe, out of the flange, and then replace it with a nut and bolt application as we have done in the past. At this point here, I'm just going to use a retaining strap here just to hold our exhaust up out of the way so it's not going to be anything crazy. That way there, when this pipe separates, it's not going to fall down and be in our way. We're going to go ahead and remove our cross brace here. This is held on by four 14 millimeter bolts. We can use our socket and ratchet and remove this hardware. I'm gonna go ahead and break these loose and then we'll come back and remove them all. Let's get the two on the other side. Get to remove the stud units here. There's three on our back flange. We did apply some heat to these here in order to get these loose. I'm gonna remove this stud here. We'll move on to the next one, apply heat to that one, and we'll do this for all three of these. In our case here, the nut is actually coming off of the stud, which is nice.
All right, with the three nuts removed off the rear flange, let's go ahead and move to the forward one. So we're gonna do the same process here. We're heating up the nuts and spinning those off of the studs. We have two more on the front to do here. Now we're down to removing one last nut up in the forward mounted flange on the front manifold area of the cat. At this point here, the whole pipe here, the Y pipe will be loose. What is gonna be supporting it is our hanger right here through this rubber bracket or the support. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep this secured here until we loosen and remove the last nut. Then we'll go ahead and pull this out and we'll separate this whole unit completely. Now that we have six nuts off of our Y pipe here, we're gonna go ahead and separate this from our engine. And we have to go ahead and get this hanger out of the rubber support there. So we're gonna separate this. I'm gonna use a pair of pliers and just work that post off of that bushing here. And pull that off. We'll go ahead and set that pipe aside. We're gonna go ahead and use our 7 8 wrench here and try and break our O2 sensor free from the catalytic converter. Now we did apply a little bit of heat to this here to go ahead and loosen up those threads. With the O2 sensor loose, let's go ahead and move to this bracket right here. We're gonna get an unbolt this from the side of our oil pan with the bracket. We had to heat up our bolt on the side here. We can go ahead and remove this bracket. We just removed the bolt out of our oil pan. I'm just using a pair of locking pliers here to go ahead and grip a hold of that. We'll have to replace this bolt after. With our O2 sensor loose, I wanna go ahead and disconnect our clips here holding a harness to these little brackets. I'm gonna use a pick and just press in on this little lock tab. Just try and pull that clip out. Set it aside. Using a flathead screwdriver, we're gonna go ahead and turn our engine plenum cover tabs here. Quarter turn. Do this on both. I'm gonna lift up and pop the back out of its rubber grommets. Lift this up and off, set it aside. On the back side of our engine, viewing from the top, we have an upper O2 sensor. Here is the wire harness right here, and it comes around to this connector right here. So we wanna go ahead and we're gonna try and separate this connector from the mounting tab in the back. There's a little spring tab on the bottom. You can try and work that. Try and pinch that tab and pull this whole harness off of the mounting bracket itself. It can prove to be a little bit challenging because there's not a lot of room, but now that we have that separated from the bracket here, 
can now go ahead and disconnect the connector itself. Just trying to identify the tab here we want to pinch. And try and finagle two hands in there. So on this connector right here, this is the locking tab right here. So you're gonna be pressing down on that and that'll unlock the harness and you can separate those. So now we have the upper harness separated. Let's go ahead and continue spinning out our row two sensor here. And go ahead and let that hang. And we're gonna show you what we're gonna go after removing this catalytic converter here on the bat side there is a nut here there is a nut down below here and then there's two on the other side we're going to try and access these four nuts from up top in the engine compartment so using our 12 millimeter deep socket i'm going to go ahead and reach down around the back side of the engine We have a swivel head ratchet. Let's go ahead and try and loosen this. We've got our nut loose. I'm gonna go ahead and reach down here. See if we can spin that off the rest of the way. Working on the two passenger side nuts here. Let's go ahead and get our socket on there. Get that top one loose. Let's go ahead and zip that nut off there. on the passenger side. In this case here, the nut came out with the stud, not a big issue. So we have a couple long extensions going up with a swivel and a 12 millimeter socket. We're going up just to the right of our catalytic converter, up and on to that last nut there. Let's go ahead and Spin that off. The nut is loose. We're going to get our magnet up in there to try and capture that. There we go. So we're going to go ahead and remove our shield right here. This is the shield that goes over our axle and it's right between the axle area and our catalytic converter. So using our 12 millimeter socket and ratchet, you want to go ahead and loosen and remove the two bolts holding this. Doing this here is going to allow a little more room for our catalytic converter to move around in there. We have our third bolt on the top here, just to the right of the catalytic converter.
So we're just gonna wiggle our cat around. Go ahead and grab that shield. Twist our cat around, manipulate this up and out. I'm gonna take that right out in the back here like so. Once we get our cat removed, you wanna reach on up, grab the old gasket, and let's work that off. Now replacing your catalytic converter, now's the perfect time to go ahead and install a new oxygen sensor at this point. Otherwise, you want to go ahead and remove your existing O2 sensor and install it in the new cat. I'm going to go ahead and install our gasket here. We did go ahead and clean the surface of the engine there for our mating surface. And we have our gasket installed. Let's go ahead and install our cat. I'm going to go ahead and feed our catalytic converter up and in. Once we get this up in there, I'm gonna go ahead and get that cat pushed up and onto the studs. Now we can go ahead and we'll start installing some of the nuts and the studs. I'm gonna go ahead and start to install our hardware here. The goal here is to get everything at least started. And then we'll come back and we'll tighten it all down. All right, let's go ahead and tighten those down. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten down our last bolt that we had removed. We're gonna tighten that one down first. I'm gonna go ahead and torque these bolts down to 23 foot-pounds. That is our lower left. I'm gonna continue around torquing the other ones in a crisscross pattern. I'm gonna go ahead and install our three bolts holding our heat shield in place here. And get all these started by hand. We'll come on back and tighten them down and torque them after that. Get our second bolt started up in here. Now I'm using my socket and extension to reach over that axle piece there, get that put in almost all the way.
Okay, let's go ahead and get the upper bolt installed. We'll go ahead and get our upper bolt started here. I'm gonna go ahead and snug that down. I'm gonna go ahead and snug down the other two on the bottom and then we'll come back and torque these. and torque these to 16 foot-pounds. And once we have the cat all bolted up to the engine, we now want to go ahead and connect our oxygen sensor right here. Snap that back together. I'm gonna to go ahead and install our O2 sensor into our cat. You now what I'm gonna do is I kind of wind up that O2 sensor harness a little bit counterclockwise. And that way then when I thread this in, I can thread that in without the wires binding up. Get that seated. I want to go ahead and tighten this down. And if you're installing a new O2 sensor, you want to make sure that the crush washer is crushed and sealed. All right, we're in there nice and tight. We're going to install our bracket from our oil pan to our exhaust here. Our original bolt was in super rough shape. So we're just replacing that there. And we're just gonna leave these bolts loose for now. Just wanna get that installed and in place. We're gonna go ahead and install our exhaust. We're gonna install new O-rings on our Y pipe here. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this up. lined up in a place and we did put a little bit any seized compound on the threads of the studs here I'm just gonna zip a couple nuts on here just to support this pipe Now this is pretty much supporting itself here. I'm gonna go ahead and install the rest of the nuts. I'm gonna go ahead and install the rest of the nuts up front here. up here we want to get this rubber hanger installed
that installed, let's go ahead and put our bolts in the back portion. And we also have a new O-ring in here as well. Now's a perfect time for you to be installing new gaskets. all of our hardware in. Let's go ahead and torque everything down. You know what them all snug down? Let's go ahead and torque these down to 40 foot pounds. Good and repeat for these back three bolts here. Now with our exhaust all in place here, we can now snug up this bracket from the oil pan to the manifold. You just want to make sure that that's snug. You don't want to make it super, super tight. And once we get the oil pan bolt done, we'll go ahead and move to the upper one. We'll do the same there. All right, go ahead and just snug that down. Get the torque piece down to 25 foot pounds. Install our cross brace here. I'm gonna go ahead and get our bolt started. Now these bolts here, we just want to tighten these down. Going to install our sway bar end link onto the sway bar. You just lift up on the sway bar and push our link onto it. Go ahead and get that nut started on there and we'll zip that on down.
make sure that's good and tight. I'm gonna go ahead and torque down this soy bar end link nut to 58 foot pounds. Let's repeat for the driver's side. Let's go ahead and install your wheel. I'm gonna get our lug nuts all started by hand. Once these are all started, I'm gonna go ahead and snug them down. repeat for the driver's side. Good and torque down your wheels to 94 foot pounds. Let's repeat for the driver's side. Go ahead and grab your ground terminal. Go ahead and connect that. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten down our nut here. Once that's snug, you're good to go. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.